Hi. So today I'm not going to be talking about bettas at all. This is B-roll betta today. Um, he's actually beautiful and I love him, but he is not the subject of this video. This video's subject is going to be my M. Balfouri monocentrophias. I probably butchered that. I butcher scientific names. I went to college for zoology and I butcher scientific names. Oh, the lights just turned off. That's fine because you can still see with the backlight. I actually need this off to film in a few moments so like I'm just gonna kind of leave it and hope for the best. Don't get upset but yeah. So we're gonna be rehousing my terrestrial tarantula species Monocentrophius Balfouri. Um, M. Balfouri. I'm better at the last part of that name than the first part of that name, so apologies to everyone who cares about scientific names being correctly pronounced. Like, they're all jokes anyway. Taxonomy is kind of a strange topic. Maybe I'll touch on that one day if you guys are interested. But anyway, we're here, and this is an intro, and I'm filming it with my beta because I love him, and yeah strap in for a video about some tarantulas. I have six of them and I love them too. So yeah, see you in the next clip. I'm gonna use these tweezers. I'm gonna use this bottle. And I'm gonna use this brush. Nice and soft. Soft for the children. Okay, so we're gonna see how this goes. I wish that I could see even one. There's six in here. There's some feet. I'm pretty confident there's six in here. Last time I did a rehouse, I sort of lifted out the, all the substrate and just popped it in here, filled in the edges, and hoped for the best. I did see all six after that. I believe everybody has gone through a molt recently, so I shouldn't be screwing anyone's life up. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be awesome. Good. Alright, so these guys. So I've got them floating. Not really. There's a rock under there. But I've got their exhibit. Exhibit. Ha. Their enclosure in a tub with water to hopefully deter them from escape. Um, hit or miss whether or not that's gonna work. We're gonna find out. I'm trying new things. And we're gonna try to get them to go into this bottle. And spiders should do what spiders do and go to the small section. Once they're in there, I'll unscrew the cap and sort of coax them in here and then hopefully They'll want to go to a dark place and not try to run out immediately. Now, it is a bit wet because I sprayed it down, so I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should hold off and wait for it to dry for a little bit. Sorry, I got really distracted by this very new looking malt. Focus. Okay. So yeah, I was concerned that it was folded, that it was perhaps not a survivor, but looks good. Looks good to me. So, I'm just gonna put that down. Alright, so, these guys are probably gonna fucking bolt on me because that's what they do. A little high strong for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this and look at the bus and hope my camera doesn't fall, so. Like you're getting bigger now, and it's time. Okay, 
So I see three, which is good. Just look at how much. Like they've been through a number of molds here. They're clearly getting bigger. These are gonna be good snacks for my ice pods. This guy's the champion, I'm thinking. This is my big one. They do tend to share their food, but not always. one hand surprisingly not surprising at all um so these guys i need you all to remain very chill okay i'm done five to go see how big they are now they're just Fucking gorgeous. God, look at that. Beautiful. Definitely time for an upgrade. So hopefully he'll just chill and not have another panic attack. I mean you never know. But we're just gonna we're gonna hope for the best. And we're gonna do this again. So now who's gonna be the next runner? Spoken, huh? Spiders do best going into small places. Given everyone a spookin', but it's fine. This is not really my favorite setup, but that's okay. So, let's try this again. Mm-hmm. 
yes. One, two, three, down. I really wish that I could get a better shot of this. Action. All right, well, we still have three more to go. Um, we're supposed to have three more to go, so. One, two, three, four. Four down, two to go. That is a rotten worm. I'm gonna leave the camera on this side now. Um, maybe give an opportunity to see some things going on there. I don't know. Okay. Two more to go. So far, I have been very lucky. I've only bottled and everything 50-50. One, two, three, four, all four of you. Please don't try to do an escape. Just find a dark place. Find a dark place. Chill. See? Siblings. Safety in siblings. the most unchill. You guys see how fast and perfect that was? That's five. Guys, don't fight. Chill. Go to chill. Go to chill zone. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One more, and she is fat. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Alright, one more. She's right here. She's. Can I make this happen? Yes. is how you rehouse six beautiful M. Balfouri into a fucking sick new home. So there's one child. Oh my gosh, what just happened? One child, two, three, four is under that leaf, five is there, and six, you can actually see feet right there. 
So there's six. And now they're just going to need to chillax and settle. And get their lives together. And it's going to be fabulous when this is all webbed up. This is going to be an awesome cage for them. They definitely were overdue for a rehouse. Do not try me. We just got you guys in here. Where is my lid? Boop, boop, boop. No, no, no. It's a nice. What is this? Exoterra Nano. I do not know what species of reptile this cage was designed for. I hope none. But it can make a perfect tarantula enclosure. They are going to feel right at home once they start getting their lives together. And the cool thing about their new, yeah, see, it's insane. This is just packed down fucking cocoa corn. Like, it's wild. They really don't burrow. I mean, it looks like they had burrows, but they're not. They really don't burrow. Those were just webs. Web layers. So this is going to be what they build off of, which is why you give them a little bit more space than I would give like your standard tea, standard terrestrial tea. And now they have a water dish, which is mostly the reason for my rehousing of them, which is going to be also very nice for them. And next up, we'll be rehousing, I'll show you pumpkin patch who just molted today actually come on well it doesn't matter they're gonna be going in here not as much of an upgrade honestly but the biggest issue is her old test is in there it's just taking up a ton of space and I really was safe about the height of the substrate she's a little bit too tall like if that's a thing She's a little, like you can see her abdomen right there. She's fucking beautiful. But she did just molt, so I'm gonna let her harden. But this is gonna be it when she's done, probably in a week. I did not expect her to molt. So, old, new, devastation. Uh, so what else do I have in here? Just, why not? Um, Obviously, I've got the cork bark in the back. This is spider wood. Um, I don't believe that it's been sandblasted. So it's still got some bark on it that I expect to just fall over. Um, we've got some alder cones scattered about and some leaf chunks. I was thinking about putting in an air plant, but like why? They're just gonna cover it and kill it anyway with their web. But I did add in some springtails, so. And I know that these guys are arid, they like dry, arid is dry, um, environments, so like, I don't know if the springtails will last when I let it dry out, I don't expect them to, to be honest, but like, hopefully they'll initially help with being a cleanup crew, and I don't anticipate them harming the spiders in any way, they're not, that's not really their style. They'll, if anything, just feed on the leaves that I spent money on and have added to this enclosure, so. It's fine. But yeah, very, very, very exciting. I'm super happy to see how this turns out, how they do it, what they do. So I'm back. Um, it's been, I don't know, two or three hours. So this is what you expect um, in two or three hours. It's actually kind of wild. I really wasn't expecting them to be this quick about it. But you can see two little two friends over there chilling another one up in the corner they hate hate and honestly fair um, that I spritzed it and that is absolutely to be expected so they have webbed quite a bit and this is super exciting for me this is exactly what I wanted them to do with these logs was logs, sticks, I don't know. It's spider wood. I wanted them to web it. They're webbing it. They're webbing it real good. Anyway, um, yeah. Ending a video is weird and hard, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that, um, 
a lot of it was not um, ideal. Like, I care more about the spiders than I care about getting everything in frame, so sorry for all the speedy jump cuts, etc., but it is what it is. Alright, here we are, 24 hours later, and here is the webbing that has occurred between my six and Balfouri. They have done an amazing job. They are off the sides, mostly, except this guy who is still on the sides for whatever reason. Um, trying to get a picture of him is difficult with the way the lighting is. That's fine. So yeah, lots and lots of webs. That's what I wanted to see, this whole thing. Just layers and layers of webs. So that's also very exciting for me. I love seeing the progress these guys make in such a short amount of time. This is going to be an awesome, definitely not final home for them at this point. Um, I do expect to have to rehouse them probably at least one more time if not two more times depending on how their sizing goes but yeah i love how it turned out i love how it's turning out i can't wait to see what else they do with this web wise um if you hadn't gathered i never intended to use the front opening latch on this at all um definitely going to be using the top to feed um that was always my intention S i guess that I don't know. With reptiles and stuff, people say use front opening because coming from above makes them nervous because one of their big predators is birds who obviously typically come from above. They're also small ground dwelling creatures. Most of the things that are attacking them are coming from above, be it a foot or a beak or a mouth or whatever. So, you know, with the spiders, I've found that they don't really care as much and it just makes more sense to go from above with the way that they're going to want to web this into this 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 habitat that they've got here but yeah so it's dried out they're much more comfortable i can't even see most of them which is exactly what i expected i do expect that the more comfortable they get when they start getting hungry i will see them out on top like i did in their old enclosure i do know that two of the six are um nervous <laughs> comparatively to the other four um i almost never saw them out unless all six of them were out together so I do expect those two to continue to be elusive. I don't really expect to see them a whole bunch, but I do expect to see the two big brave ones, and one of them is this guy in the corner right here. Um, so yeah, let's just, I hope that this continues. I hope that everybody is happy with this. Um, this was really exciting for me. And uh, thanks for joining and coming, coming to this this video and watching what I have going on. Um, I hope to make more. We'll see. I will keep you guys updated if you like this. Let me know. And yeah, I hope you're having a great whatever time period you're experiencing in this 24-hour cycle. And yeah, bye!